Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult colouring channel. Um, the videos on this channel are not made for or intended for children. We discuss adult topics on these videos. Uh, that's it very much. Um, God, I don't know what I'm saying today. I'm not really not with it. Um, but that's it. So, we are colouring the skull from Johanna Basswood's A Magical Jungle. Um, we're using the Secura Jelly Rolls on the skull itself. And we're going to be using the toy markers on... Uh, the background so people have said they want to see me continue to colour the skull and then they want to see a little bit of the background being done but not all of it which is fair enough I totally get that that's fine I'm going to start at the bottom this time because it makes a bit more sense to go from right to left or from bottom to top um, being left handed so how are you? Have you had, did you have a nice weekend? Have you been up to anything much? If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for joining me on my colouring journey. It's nice to have you here. And if you were a return visitor, welcome back. Well, those of you who watch the weekly vlog will know we had a lovely weekend and we went down to Roth and had a quick walk about around the, the rose garden. We didn't go around the lake this time, we went to the rose garden. If it's nice this weekend, we might go to the lake and go for a walk around a different part. Um, we might actually try and walk all the way around to the wild gardens. So there's got this, this overgrown bit. Um, we walk, and Paul used to hang out there when he was a kid and uh, it's full of wild garlic so it actually stinks to high heaven <laughs> because it smells of wild garlic um, but it's a nice area be interesting for Jennifer to see what she makes of wild garlic I'm actually going to do his teeth gold as well give him gold teeth but uh, that'll be on uh, Saturday so I finished watching a movie um, I've been trying to watch for a while it's an old one I can't remember what year it's from 50s I think 40s or 50s uh, called The Court Jester starring Danny Kaye and a very young Angela Lansbury was in it as well um, and uh, I really enjoyed it there were some real laugh out loud moments but uh, I will talk more about that obviously in my weekly wrap up video um, which might well be Saturday. I'm thinking of changing the order of uploads around because I'm finding it's hard to do a colour and chat Wednesday and Friday because not a lot happens in the one day in between. So I'm thinking what I might do is, is do colour and chats Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, Thursdays are normally a flip through. Then Friday would normally be a car and chat. Saturday would either be a flip through or the weekly wrap up. So I might have to just have a think about it. I might, you know, I might, I might just carry on doing it as I am because I just enjoy the colouring thing. So I might do it this week and then mix it up next week and I'll re, I'll overhaul the entire schedule. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions video of uh, the Castle Arts Watercolours. It's only part one, there will be a part two, which will be about how they actually work as with when you're colouring. So I'm currently working on that and I'll hopefully be finishing that this week. If, if we can hopefully I might start moving that till I might move that till Fridays from next week keep this week and then in the weekly wrap up I'll read out I'll give the new schedule I just think it's going to be easier I'm just thinking about what colours to do this but this would be gold it's very difficult to know what colours to do it but I am enjoying it again I can see gaps in the the camera on the um, the LCD screen that I can't see because I'm too far away from it. 
but I will fill them in later. Oops. If you can see a blue light, it's just because I've got my TV on in the background. I was watching a video. I don't like to have anything on really in the background while I'm colouring. I'm still working my way through the old episodes of Slapped Ham. There's a lot of them. They put out a lot of videos. And I do, do enjoy it. It's an interesting... A channel. I mean, obviously, it's very silly uh, paranormal stuff, and I'm not saying I don't believe in odd things. And but some of the things you watch, you know, oh my God, that is so obviously faked. That why why are you even putting that on here and not saying it's so obviously faked? Because you can see it is so obviously faked, and yet they still put it on there and say we don't know whether this is real or not. It's like, well, I can tell you, it's fake. <laughs> Every now and again, I, I see a bit and I go back onto it. Uh, there, there. <laughs> I can see here. Yeah, it's very hard with this metallic -y to see the missing bits. So, especially when you've got a bright, very bright daylight bulb like I have. So we won't be doing the background this because I've left the toy markers downstairs. So I'd have to come get them. It depends how long this video is today. We've still got quite a lot of the skull to do anyway, really, haven't we? Let's be honest. So we've got to uh I'm still working from home, loving it. Don't ever really want to go back to the office. I suppose I'll have to one day. It's going to be a shock to the system, mine is, I can tell you. I'm surprised that they've kept us out as long as they have, but they still say in October at the earliest. And then it's going to depend on whatever restrictions are in, in place, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I'm not going to... If they give me the option to work, carry on working from home, that's what I'm going to do. Everybody's working very hard and doing the best they can, so... I must admit, every time I uh, order something else from Amazon, a coloring book falls into my cart, cart somehow. I'm not I'm not sure how that happens. But I had to order um, some printing paper for the computer because I do a lot of printing, and not colouring printing, I have special paper for that, but uh, sometimes I print out my eBay labels or... Paul needs to print out stuff and it's got to the point where sometimes Jennifer just wants to scribble on it. She goes paper, which means she doesn't want her colouring books. She has got several colouring books including a My Little Pony one that I've got but she wants blank paper just to scrawl on. So I've ordered two reams but somehow, somehow another colouring book fell into my cart at the same time. I, don't, I just don't know how it happens. It just it just keeps on happening, and I don't know why. It won't be happening as much from September because obviously, I mean Jennifer will be going back to uh, nursery, so we'll have nursery fees, which we haven't had these last few months. So um, I've been spending money on her instead, buying her things. I started getting her Christmas presents. Well, I started getting her odd little things for her Christmas stocking. So some little, you know, scribble pad books and stuff like that. So, and I'm going to order some 
uh, more felt pens and some colouring books at the end of the month when I get paid from Amazon I order the, the two Jade Summer Toddlers books they got a, a Christmas one and it's really nice so I'm going to get her that I think she'll like that one so have the, I think I might have oh, orange orange I haven't used the orange yet, have we? Let's put the orange down here and this bit of flower here. The colours are absolutely lovely and they do go on really nicely. Yeah, they're really nice. leaves. Like I said I will go back over it when I need to to um, just clear up the the gaps because I can see the gaps on the screen and I'm showing you and there's loads of spots and but I can't see them when I'm looking down at it because the light's shining directly onto it so I can't see it very well so and it is very annoying because I would rather not have them but I have to just do work how I, I am and try and uh, get on with it like that. There we are. So I know there's bits missing. But uh, that's, that'll do. Is that right? No, I've missed one up the end here. I'm sure I'll have the green out again later. Oh dear, the silver's quite nice actually, I haven't used that yet. I'm going to use this yellow here, so that's the gorgeous yellow. And we'll put that in these spotty bits here on these flowers. And I think I'll use a light pink for these flowers. The reason being is I want to use the red for something else. I want to use the red for around his um, mouth. Oh, that's a nice pink, isn't it? I know I've been used these before in the first impressions video, but when you come to use them again, you realise how beautiful these these colours are and how lovely they look. So yeah, I do love these jelly roll pens. I think they're definitely worth the price. But they're going to be ones I'm going to use sparingly. I mean, obviously I'm doing this whole skull with them, apart from the black, which was the Arteza. Um, but yeah, they are very nice. And I think it's going to be the red, gold and the yellow that will run out first. It usually is with me because it's my favourite colours. <laughs> mm, I think that might need to be gold actually. So it's looking good so far. It's looking very nice. Yeah, like I say, I can see lots of gaps when I look at it up here, but I can't actually see them when I'm down here, when I'm where I am now. I mean, obviously, I will take some time after the video to tidy it up and make sure all those gaps or as many of those gaps as I can are filled in. Just to make sure that it's looking right. Yeah. 
yeah, it's <laughs> quite quite gruesome actually. But uh, it's jeweled. He's a jeweled skull. He's very pretty. Might be she. I don't know. <laughs> so we went out for our first drink on the weekend. So it's the first time we've been out for a drink since lockdown. So, you know, the pub's shut in March and they reopened last week, I believe. Sometime last week and we decided to go for a drink and it was really nice. We had a few beers. Jennifer was as good as gold. She just sat on the chair on the table. They were very good at, at the pub we went in, which was the the Prince of Wales, which is a very nice pub in Risca. And uh, yeah, they were very, very good. It was, they looked after you really well. They served you at your table. They kept everything nice and clean. It was, it was very good. It was a very good... Um, experience felt very safe so there was nothing to worry about you know they take your name and phone numbers as long as uh, you know in case somebody's diagnosed with with the illness so they can contact you and get you twice late but nobody came within two meters of us the entire time we were there except for the waitresses the servers rather so you know, it felt very safe. It was very well done, we were very well. So we had a, a nice little drink. And then uh, went home. My dad fell asleep because he's uh, getting on and he's not used to drinking so much now. He only had three pints, but he was tired because he'd been running around with Jennifer as well. Because she wanted to go and look at the ducks on the canal and he's not one. That does look really gruesome now, doesn't it? He's not one to say no to her if she wants to go and look at the ducks. Of course, it's boring for her sitting in a pub garden. But it was a beautiful day to sit outside. In fact, this week's been lovely so far. I think it's supposed to rain Thursday. But it's been lovely weather. So... Yeah, Paul's having a Zoom meeting with his, a Zoom beer with his mate on uh, uh, Friday. So I'll be watching a film. I'm probably going to watch one of the four Cary Grant films I got. I might even watch two. Because Friday is normally a non-filming day. So it's a eBay photo day, to be honest. So I'm going to try and do extra tomorrow because tomorrow's an eBay photo day. So I'm going to do extras tomorrow so I don't have to... I think I'll do that bit as well. Because then I use the other colours. Yeah. So... Yeah. Filming this at night again, they're all in bed asleep. <laughs> Bless Jennifer, she's so cute when she's asleep. But then I think all babies are cute when they're asleep, aren't they? Let's be honest, they look so sweet and innocent and lovely that you can't help go, oh. She had a bit of a Mardi today. She just wanted to watch Andy's Baby Animals, but there's only three episodes of that and she wanted to keep watching the same three episodes over and over again. And after about the fifth time, I said no. <laughs> and I said, come on, we go outside and get some fresh air. <laughs> So, we did. We went outside and we had some fresh air. Um, and it, yeah, it was nice. It was nice sitting outside. We had dinner outside in the garden. We tend to do that a lot. So, I'm gonna have to use a different colour now. I can't keep using red. It looks like he's bleeding to death. Which okay, he might be. 
I have got other colours to use. I'm going to use a darker green in a minute for up here. Oops, TV's gone off. Well, it's gone on standby, which is all right. It's so hard to get this glitter on properly on these. And these baby animals. Yes, I can't stop singing it. I actually do this one. I like the light green. I like that green. Oh, that's a beautiful colour. I must admit, I mean, you can't even see what I'm doing, I do apologise. These lovely colours, these light colours are so vibrant. This green is stunning. I, I think it's absolutely a beautiful green. There you go. Silver now. We haven't had any silver yet, so we'll put some silver up here. Mm, this one's scratching. Oh dear. Oh, I'd have to have to. Um, Get this ink flowing again out of sack. There we go, it's doing it now. Happens occasionally, they get a bit clogged, and you just either have to roll it or tap it, and then it's all right again. There we are. Okay, I think we'll do the inside line here in the Silver. Like so. There we are. And same on this one. Yeah, I can see there are gaps there. We'll have a blue next, I think. We haven't used much blue. I haven't finished yet. I'll probably use some more silver. If I can find the top and it doesn't dry out, because the top's gone. Oh, there it is. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? It's always one of those days, and Yep, this one. And this one's going to be all this here. I really do like these pens, I'm not going to lie, they are absolutely amazing. This bit. That's a lovely shade, isn't it? Look at it. I mean, I know I can see there are bits where I've missed a bit, but like I said, I will go back over it afterwards. And this bit here. I might have to go and get the uh, toy markers in a minute because there's not much of the skull left and then we'll do a little bit of, I'll show you the toy markers 
which I also love very much. As you know. I love in this. I think this looks really good. I said I will go over the bits that I've missed because I can't really see them from up here because uh, of the brightness of the light I'm using. All I can see is where it's shiny and sparkly. So sometimes it looks like it might be a sparkle and it's a hole or it might look like a hole and it's a sparkle. Sometimes I do have a quick look at the camera And I'll put silver in the rest of it, I think. Ooh, did I miss the... No, that's fine. There we go. There we go. Like I'll get the silver out again in a minute. I want the pink for the flower. One, two, three, four. Yeah, number four for this one. Actually, I use number four and number five because number five is a bit more purpley. So I'll do that there. the next one up as well. Oops. Put this one. Oh that's gorgeous. Look at that. That actually reminds me of the pink from the um the link shine. It's very similar to that pink. What's the link shine now? I do let now. I'm going to do this pink rather there, and I'll do that bit silver. Uh, I let Jennifer use the other glitter pens at downstairs now because she sits with me, and if I'm colouring with them, she wants to colour with me, which is understandable. She wants to do what Mummy's doing, and I can't really say no. So, I mean, they're not expensive pens. It's not like these ones, which were a bit pricey. It's you know, it's not like I'm letting her use my polychromous pencils or anything like that. She doesn't touch those. So, okay, uh, green. The I use the lighter one. That's not green. Don't know what colour that is. It's the silver one. I just tried to put back. How strange. Never mind. I do love these. These are fab. So we're nearly at uh, 30 minutes anyway, so this is going to be turning off uh, then. So when that happens, or we finish this green bit, I will go get the twine markers, because we've pretty much finished this. And what we'll do is... I'll do a bit of the background. I won't do it all because it's just leaves and the spider. I don't think there's anything else there, is it? Now, I know some of the leaves are blank and you can draw in your own stuff. I'm not going to. I'm not an artist and I do not purport or pretend to be. I do like to colour and that's it. I am a colourist and nothing else. And not the best, I'll admit that. I, I am learning, I'm getting better. But uh, right, I am going to go now and get the twine markers so we can start the background. So the skull looks like this. 
he looks a little bit it looks better in real life than it does on the camera I've got to be honest but I'll go and get the twine markers okay so I've got the twine markers now so I'm going to do the spider I think let me just get that out there we go I love these markers I really really do the right colour, that's that one, isn't it? Yep. So, let's get on with the spider. I'm actually going to do my spider black and red. Now with these, of course, you do have a fine tip, so I think I'll actually go in with that. It's so fine now. It's going to take a bit longer. It's better. Now I am going to darken his little bits there. Just to make sure. There we are. And we want red. This one, ruby, yeah, that's what I want. And again, we'll use the fine point for this bit just because it's. the rest of it is going to be one of the various shades of green so we've got chartreuse green which is quite a light one there's apple green then there's neon which we won't be using there's emerald and there's sea foam which looks like it should be darker but it isn't i'm sorry i am going to use the back of another coloring book no it's a very pale green the darkest one is emerald i think there might be a very dark one later on jungle green and I'll probably use that for the background but I kind of like the, the chartreuse colour for bits like this but my battery's run out so I'm going to change the battery and I'll be back that's the battery changed and like I said I like to use the, the light chartreuse for these sorts of the bits it's a lovely colour So I'm just watching um, Slapped Ham and it's all about conspiracy theories. Um, ten conspiracy theories. So the first one is um, jean Bonnet Ramsey is Katy Perry. That sort of thing. I love things like this. Why people come up with things like that, I don't know. How they come up with it, I don't know. But there's so many of these... Um, cons you know, it's, these there are ten. These are the top ten conspiracy theories that they are going to be be doing. So, kind of does make you wonder, but uh, I I don't know. I'm a, one of those people who I just like watching about things like conspiracy theories and things like that. So. It's, it's interesting. I like learning things. I like knowing what people are thinking. Um, I have always been one of those people who can't get enough education. I think I get it from my mum because I've got the same sort of habit as her. It's like, this is something that really drives people mad when I say it. But I, I'm like my mum. She thinks the same way. Who decided and why? For instance, a fork should be called a fork. Who decided that the colour orange was orange? And why 
the fruit or banana or pineapple or strawberry who decided to call a chair a chair and why where does it come from you know and it's it's you know it just it's one of those things that really bugs me you know I'm like but why a chair why call it a chair I'm just very strange and I know it and that's fine I'm quite happy to be strange I'm just going to do this little bottom corner for you and then I'll let you go and I'll do the rest of it off camera because I know you don't want to see me doing tons and tons of a background that's well green it's very hard to get into these um, pages I can see why people take them apart and either spiral bind them or um, just do them loose. I, I, I do get it. I do. Um, spiral binding wouldn't work for me being left-handed unless of course it was bound at the top or on the right because of um, being left-handed you tend to you'd be hitting it all the time it wouldn't be very comfortable. So my phone just buzzed, it's probably nothing exciting, but you never know, it might be. I haven't won the lottery because I haven't bought a ticket. But you can do your picture however you want to. That's the beauty of colouring, it's whatever you want it to be. And I'm not worrying about going in here because I'm going to go over with a darker colour afterwards. And the same with uh, around the outside as well. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this picture actually. Hmm. Like I said though, I am only going to do this um, little bit at the bottom for you. I think I'll use that. Is it emerald green I'm going to use for the jungle? Mm. I'm thinking about using that on the thing. No, it's going to be too dark if I use... I'm just musing to myself about what greens to use. Let me just have a look at how dark this um, jungle green is compared to that. It looks more blue than green. Okay, I use the jungle. I won't use the jungle green. I use the emerald green for the background. And this is the seafoam green, which I'm just going to use on these back pieces. Like that. And my video's gone off again. I don't want to turn off completely because it goes back to the beginning of the video in the end and I don't really want to watch it at the beginning because I've already watched the beginning twice. Um, just do that bit there. This is that. This is how it's looking so far. That's sea foam. Um, I use uh, apple on the inside. So we're going to do this bit here. This is apple isn't it? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I'm really not with it tonight, don't worry. So yeah, I mean they've had a nice we had a nice weekend out and as a family and you know, things are okay. People are being very sensible in Wales. There's not many masks in shops because it's not mandatory. But there is a lot of care. People are being careful around other people. I think uh, fingers crossed it carries on being sensible and people being careful and we can get out of this quicker than anticipated although some people are saying it could hang around for the next 10 years keep going into this sort of thing coming back to us and and holding us back but hopefully not 
I'm really hoping. I mean, I am for myself, it doesn't bother me being in the house. I'm quite happy it just being me and Paul and Jennifer and going out to see my mum and dad every now and again, every couple of days. But I know that other people are struggling and that's not good. I mean, I do suffer from depression, but my depression and anxiety comes from being around people, which is weird considering I love being on the stage. I don't know. But uh, meeting new people is very difficult for me, even though, you know, when I did the theatre, when I first started, it took me years to get up enough courage to do it. And once I'd taken that first step and I've been to that first day, I was fine. You know, it was all fine. I was happy and I, I was fine then in that situation. Um, but it's the same every time I do something like that. The problem is if COVID comes back and it carries on like this, we can't, we're just going to have to live with it. We're just going to have to either live in limbo like we are at the moment and lose our theatres, clubs, restaurants, bars and stuff like that or we put up with it um, and we risk getting it because they just don't know if the vaccine's going to last. Of course, it's all up in the air at the moment. They, it may not. We may The vaccine may work and... It all may be hunky-dory or it may be like the flu jab and you have to have a jab every year or every couple of years. I could live with that. But it's down to each individual person to decide what they want and how they're going to go about it. It's been a hard few months for everybody. But I think everybody's done really well. I mean, the only place that seems to be really not doing very well is the States. And I don't know really, other than what I see and read on the news. You guys, what's it like over there, really? Tell me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Uh, what's it like in your state? All you hear about is the, the bad stuff. We hear about all the states which have got, like, all these new cases confirmed in Florida. And it's like, okay, but there are... 51 other states or 50 other states or however many states there are and I don't know I'm sorry but in your state how is the situation there are you guys okay are you safe I hope you are I hope you're looking after yourself I hope you're taking care because I would hate for anything to happen to any of you guys So I'm hoping to tomorrow get a lot of photographs done for eBay so I can start getting back to listing properly. I've been so lazy. I'm going to make hardly any profit this month. I will make a profit, but it won't be a huge one. We're at about 40 minutes now, so I'm just... If I can find it... I'll put that one back there and that one back in there. I know which colours I'm using. Do a little bit of the behind them, the, this bit of the background, um, just to finish it off. So I can take this one down and finish this off out in the garden tomorrow and whenever, or um, in the evening when Jennifer's in bed, because it's only the background to do now. And you don't really want to see me curl the entire background in because you know it would be very boring because all it is is going to be these four shades of green so the next time you see this picture will be at the end of the month when I do my completed pages, unless you want to see any more. I'm assuming they're not going to because all it is is going to be me colouring in these leaves.
with the four shades of green. So I'm going to assume you don't want to see uh, that, but obviously if you do, let me know. If not, we'll start a new book or a new picture in the next one. Um, haven't decided what to do yet. Any ideas? Let me know. You, you know what books I've got. They're all either hauled or there's a load of flip throughs. If there's a book you particularly want to see me colour in, let me know in the comments below. And that's another reason. Every time I ask you a question, I don't get give you very long to answer it. I know I need to put a bit more chartreuse in there. And I'll do that a bit later because that needs me to get in really tight. I don't really give you long enough to say what you want. But uh, let me know. And uh, if there's a particular book you want me to colour in, I'll uh, pull it out and we'll colour in it. Or do you want me to do a Christmas in July picture? I've got a couple of books ready to go for Christmas in July. I have done one Christmas picture so far. But I've got two more books out ready to uh, colour in. If you want me to uh, do a Christmas in July, let me know. If I don't get any comments by Friday evening, I will just pick one. Are you, are you doing Christmas in July, guys? Have you been joining in with it? I mean, like I said, I've done one picture, but I don't really join the colour-alongs. I mean, I, I do if it's a, a picture I like or a book I've got, like I did in October with the Bibliophile Colourist. I'm more likely to do that sort of thing. Halloween, I love. Right. So I will leave it there because we have been way over 40 minutes. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see. So as you can see, the background is going to be all these colours. And of course that there. And then this. So if you want to see me colour any more of the background, let me know. If not, I won't. Uh, do you want to, or let me know if you want me to do a Christmas in July. Or is there a particular book that you would like to see me colour in next? If so, just let me know. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.